Shirt filled with sweat. No. <laughs> Dude, that's that's an insult. Thank you. That's an insult. That's an offensive. I think you would be better. Right, I pay my do a me Because they are trying with international. Oh, they, they are not this one or that one. No, no, no. I'm like, no, you're no, not no, living in your country. Oh my like, god. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think you need to focus today. Lesson. Yeah, today's lesson is a little. 
you have to, yeah, you have to use your, all of your strength. Okay. <laughs> and even these, uh, these students also, they got their they brain burning. Good. Oh, oh, you should you should heat your brain. Try the fan. 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 Try the Oh, just teacher. Oh, just teacher. Yeah. Okay. So, like, I, I think we have already discussed about page number ninety-six point yesterday, right? No. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. Some yes. Some no. 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 So, the tips of writing imaginatively. So, if you are writing an imaginatively pieces, uh, like a narrating a story. Right, you will not have to structure your piece in the same logic or a few ways of for an imaginative or persuasive piece, right? So here narrative this now you are going to write a story, right? This is the just the introduction. And you need to highlight stop by setting the scene. Okay, when you are writing a story, you need to think about you need to set the scene. Okay, and then and the setting the scene means that the background of your story, right? So who are in your uh, house? Are the characters, yeah. Or, uh, yeah, the character and the situation like that, right? And the next one is go straight into the story. Okay, you need to highlight next one. Go straight into the story. Okay, so here one more point is a good piece of imaginative writing is very and inventive. Your story should be a very and inventive. Yeah, what are those? And um, choose some words which are abstract and colorful. Yeah, please highlight choose abstract and colorful words. What is abstract mean? You can do that. You can look up a dictionary. <laughs> Cycle. Yeah. Roasted. And then next one. And the next one. Descriptive yeah. vocabulary, adjectives, and adverbs. Yeah. Okay, there are one. Meaning. Imagery. Use imagery. Here is a, for example, she grins like a crocodile. This is like a simile and metaphor, right? When you write when you write a story, you gotta use simile and metaphor. And the next one, use exclamation. And exclamation and words that convey their meaning through sound. And the next one, should vary in length. Your story should vary in length. Um, okay, here. An occasional very short paragraph can make a strong impact. Right? Some paragraph might even be just one word now, such as help. And the next morning, this is a good uh, Your sentences should also vary in length, right? So you have two points for right in the length. Your paragraph, the length of your paragraph, and the sentences <coughs> of your paragraph. Okay, so this is a good way to have an effect in your reader's feeling. <laughs> is there any question for those notes? No. No yeah. yeah. Okay, so now let's go to 97. Imaginative description. So here, passage 8 is taken from the novel The Third Policeman by the Irish writer. So do you know the Irish? Who are the Irish? Irish are... Uh... Oh, I Irish. 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 Irish.
contains something valuable, you have to read the extract carefully and then carefully read the comments. Okay, so I think you have already read at home, right? I read it, but it's hard. <laughs> okay, so read, so let's read it again. And I give you five minutes to read it, and after that we will discuss How about it once? once. No, the whole part, the whole passage. Fine, have to read. Or passage. Passage A, right? Yeah. Or passage. Or passage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Notice how the writer suggests 
They are strength and gives the description greater force by making the spiders actively. Right, so which sentence and which phrase show that? Um, the spider had a right there, great stretching out. Stretching out there, what? What a fat makes a fat place. And then next one. Here, you know, there is an explanation, right? Yes, teacher. Uh, the subject of the verb erected and using the verbal noun strengthens rather than simply saying spider web stretch across the fireplace. Okay, so the last one. Uh, again, rather than simply saying the corner of the room was in shadow. So the writer used a metaphor. Okay, a uh, metaphor is was a blah of shadow. Instead of saying a blah of shadow, it's used the corner of the room was in shadow. So which makes the description more direct and also suggest that the shadow is a physical threatening presence. So when you when you write an uh, imaginary <laughs> description, you need to know how to use a metaphor and simile. Okay? Yeah. Do you know metaphor? Yes. How about simile? Yes. Okay. Yes. When you write, if you don't, if you say no, a, a, say is a, a metaphor is. Synonymous. What is different between metaphor and synonyms? So what is synonyms? Synonyms. Simile, right? Simile and metaphor. Simile yeah. is using like as, as, and like. Yeah. Like for as example, or like. Yeah. For example, he eats like a horse. Then that's a But for metaphor, it's like uh, describing words by exaggerating words with yes. another word of phrase. Yeah. It's, it, uh, is it kind of the same as idiom? No. Yeah. So here, you know, you can see clearly that instead of saying "was a blood of share," right? Here, the writers wrote. Uh, the corner of the room was in shadow. Right? Uh, that, that's metaphor. The yeah, that's blur of shadow. The blur of shadow. Huh? And the last one. Next. As the moment of discovery of the box becomes closer, the writer used a short sentence of 11 words containing three active verbs to build up excitement, right? I lift it up, laid it aside, and struck a match, right? Yes. He used that phrases to show the excitement. Look at that last one. The last two words of this paragraph have leave the reader in suspense and waited to read on to find out what the fuck they were just saying. Okay? So the last two words, something happened. It show it gives you um, like a you know, hint or to think something more. So in this passage, the writer is describing surroundings that are mysterious, a little creepy. The comments on the highlight words and phrases give some suggestion as to how he used languages to achieve these effects. Okay. So. Uh, overall, when we when we make a contraction for this passage, right? So they use uh, the writer. The writer is used uh, most of the some of some of the adverb, right, to emphasize his feeling and to attract the the audience more. And he used a metaphor, right? And he used some of the words to make stronger, uh, to give stronger information. Okay, so now let's go on to this passage B. This is your tent. My tent is here. Okay, so 98, passage B. The second passage is taken from a high way in Jamaica by Richard Hart, and which Richard Hughes uh, described a morning in the Caribbean when a group of children are riding to a place called Exeter Rocks on Honey to spend the day escaping from the heat. So the weather is uh, exceptionally calm and extremely hot. It is in fact building up to a hurricane. 
Okay, so this is this, uh, should I say, the setting and the introduction of the setting of that time. Okay, so you have to read the passage carefully, then answer the question that follow, which refer to the highlighted section. Okay. So you're going to read passage B first. Shall I pronounce Sai Mile? Sai Mile? Oh my god. Sai Mile. Sai Mile. Sai I know that you are making your. You should be a serious. She don't want to pronounce that. Sai Mile. Where is the definition of that? You better look for English, Shari. You're preferring Google, right? I'm trying to buy the device. Oh my god. Do you want to ask your friend? She doesn't know either. You can
Mr. Nazal, what we take? Yeah. Are you talking discussing about your hair or we are just no, 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 discussing no, no, with no, us? Not really. I heard about I just had you know, a haircut of blah 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 like that. Okay. You might be better then. Right. <laughs> right. So, how would you explain as fully as you can? Like the sentence, I have to explain the sentence. Mm, you have to, you, the, 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 the question wants you to extend the explanation. Not a simple one. Do we can you expand can, it? can you do that one for us? That one? Maybe we can get idea from no, that. No, no, no. Oh. Which one? Okay, do you have to like, extend the idea in paraphrase? And here, you know, you have to be, you have to read the question till finish up. Uh, what is suggested to you and say how it helps you to picture clearly the cloud, the cloudless sky? Just like a clay. Not a clay, not a clay. Sure. It means that how you see in how you see it, you have to describe what you see. That's it. I see it as a the cloud is like. Use your imagination. I think it's like imagination. No, that's for. Yeah. Clearly, doesn't really have a yeah. color. Clearly, it's mostly like twilight. I don't know how. It's a twilight. You can pour it. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 originally brown or something like that, but they pour their blue shades. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That means that the cloud in that thing look so fade or something. So fade. Yeah. So faded like. Oh, I should I should Oh, I should have. 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 Oh, I not the same color, but it just vibrates the sky. It's like the color is like. It's like. No, no, no. I don't know what you mean. It's like. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, ye
Which one? That's again. Number one, number one. We're still not done with that. <laughs> what are you doing if you don't know? I was uh, thinking about what I should I share. Yeah. Are you are you scrolling down and out and tapping and texting? Uh, and okay. The, the texting and uh, looking for something. Yeah, I was looking for Nikki. Who's way? What? Okay. So number two. What does it mean by the word guggling? Go oh, guggling. Oh, I know that. With, with, okay, please. Okay. Yeah. So, what does it mean by guggling? In the exam, you cannot say like that. You, in the exam, I'm not going to So, how would you put that one? Can I talk about how the saliva, the bubbling? Bubbling with a cleansing, uh, like it's like cleansing your throat with water. Oh yeah. Can I can I say that? Yeah, yeah. Cleansing your throat with water, like. <laughs> so you need to mention the songs as well, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. So should I put a speaker and then record? No, 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 no. Here, you know, you can you can write the songs in the in your story. Like ka. Kiwa ka. Kiwa per. And the next one. Which, uh, which sort of people and what particular actions do you usually associate with this word? Um, so one, you have to do goggling. Oh, we used to do that after we brush our teeth. Yeah. yeah. And you also do that when you have a salt throw, but with salt water. Yeah. Hot salt yeah. mm -hmm. We do that salt do that yes. Yes. Can we say that like talk to people? Uh-huh. <laughs> Next question, how does it suggest to you about the spring in the rocks? Okay, so what is the meaning of the spring in the rocks? So there's like a hole in the rock and then like the water like... Oh wait, what? What? No, I didn't mean like that. What? I didn't mean like that. What do you mean? There's sometimes like, there's like a... It's, uh, some rocks are like, they're like... They are, oh, you're like, the four? Like, Not to like, like, you know like spine balls? Like, they're like... Uh -huh. <laughs> and then like uh, water, we want to do there. Oh. No! It's soaked. Soaked. Oh, it's soaked. 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 No, <laughs> 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 Can you talk about your life? Can you talk about your life? No, it's not the time yet. Yeah. 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 Wait, so, so for you to be an English teacher, do you have to attend English major universities and stuff? Yes, I did. How, How many years? years? English professional. How many years? Four years. <gasps> Did you regret taking it? Uh, did you? Why do you have to take that? That's not a rule though. Yeah. That's really, really rude. English is not even in it. English is not even in it. No, 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 no. no. I mean that, you know, I like, can't. It's not do. It's do. Do. No, I think. 
I studied in 2012, oh no, 2001. 2001? Minus seven. Minus six. In yeah, 2001, I became a teacher in 2002. Yeah. But that's one year, I took one year to be a teacher. Yeah. So your passion is like, I started like, 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 since the time I became a teacher. Did you go to some kind of foreign countries or something? No, anybody here? What is so you guys? Have you ever taught in school? Have you ever taught in government school? Government school? Yeah. Have you ever taught in No. No, yes. So you don't plan to, right? No. Uh, yeah. Nice. Nice. So, did you take ILDS or did you just fit it into the master of the blah blah? blah, 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 blah. Are you, are you uh, making an uh, interview for some position? <laughs> Sorry, DJ, I'm so interested in your career. <laughs> I so, think I have already introduced about mine, right? Yeah, no, you no, haven't. No, I don't think so. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's right. Yeah, right. You talked about it like nine months ago. 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 <laughs> okay, okay, so now let's go on to the lesson. Uh, what does it suggest to you about the spring and the rocks? Yeah. What does it mean, the spring and the rocks? What is the meaning of the spring and the rocks? Spring in the rock. What is the meaning of the spring and the rocks? Oh, I'm not. Where is the word spring in the word in the paragraph? And how about the paragraph? There's no no. Something you have to think about. It's like the spring is like covered with rocks. I just talking about the stream or the steam. Oh, the stream. Spring. Spring. Yeah, it's the spring. That's me. I am. Spring. Yes, I said yeah. water. Are you talking about the stream? Spring. You draw spring. Yeah. Spring. The wind. The wind. The, the one you talk is stream. I think. A <laughs> stream or yeah, a yeah, stream. Stream. No. No. Spring is the wind. How would you explain that this is not real direction, uh, the direct meaning? Or how would you say oh, that the so it's like a sweetness rocks. among More sweetness like. among you know dark times and stuff? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. No matter how dark the war is, like you stay going and the good position. No matter how great you are. Yeah. You know, the Oh, visit. Visit the sun. Oh, the visit the sun. 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 Visit the 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 I'm <laughs> 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 Yes. So maybe there's a hole in the rock? No. <laughs> and then the springs that. That's what we're talking about. That's oh. the same thing. Right, I agree with you. No. no. Yeah. yeah. It's like. <laughs> oh, the rocks mean that something is ruined. No. In the rocks here means that the, the saturation or the place or which one? What, what, uh, in the rock? Yeah, yeah, is in it the situation? Is it like Mount Everest? Dude! Don't be rude. Yeah, it's a saturation. So like rough time? 
Yeah. So, like, good time, a long, rough time. So here is, you know, the, the you know, the passage that very, uh, he, uh, extremely heat, right? Extremely hot, right? Yeah. And then among those, you are learning about the animals and the children. I bet, right? So, so we call the kind of coolness among the hot yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. The screen and the rocks is like. The beautiful, the beautiful, the beauty of the courage of somebody. That's the screen. I'm very proud. Yeah, but I do like it. 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 Read number three and then think about the answer. No. You can throw out and bring a minor. Then, Alina, Alina and Eating, number four. Number four. And then, Zhu and you three, right? You three has to How about, about just two of them? Okay, go ahead. Okay, two are. No, I don't want them. <coughs> you don't want them here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Okay, so you have to discuss about number five. Spike. Spike. Okay. Then the last line, you have to think about the answer for three. And Alingas and Tiki for number four. And Zuzu, hello, and angry. Number five. Angry. You're correct, right? Yes, sir. Josie. No, it's not angry. Yeah, angry, I know that. Oh, Alinga too. Yes. Why me? I prefer. Teacher kept calling me Alinga. He has got me. Yeah, yeah. Teacher boo. So hello. Okay, so number five. You, you, you group number five, and then number six again. Yeah, yeah, I know. I knew. I knew we're going to watch this lottery. Three of us. Five of us. They said the word advance is often used to describe the actions of an army on the march. And there's mm. um, to, to picture the description of the scenes, the scenes, the scenes. Mm. Uh, on march, the soldiers in the army step off straight ahead with their left foot smartly in the sunshine morning uh, and then take a 30 oh, inches step sorry. and place the heel on the ground first. Yeah, that's all. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And now so we're actually, actually, the word advance is often used to describe the action of an army on the march, right? So here we see the word advance at the second paragraph. Right, second paragraph and the first line. Are you listening to me? Yes. Yeah, I'm listening. So the second paragraph, the first sentence, we'll, we'll we'll the say morning together. events. Yeah. Okay. Here, the morning event is yes. not really talking about the merch, the the merchant of the army. This is just only the <coughs> example, right? So the question wants you to describe about what uh, when after reading the morning events, how can you picture of the scene?
This is only just one. Here, advance is uh, marching, right? The uh, action of an army on the march is that's only this is the example. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But after reading the morning advance here in the text, it doesn't mean they are not, this is not talking about the marching of the, the army on the march. Yeah. yeah. So, how would you realize that one, the morning advance? We just think like uh, the, the soldiers and uh, from the army, uh, uh, they, they stuck their foot on the ground. <laughs> the yeah. Morning, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, actually no, thank you. Yeah. So the morning events here means that, you know, um, yeah, this is similar to, you can, you can similar, you can think about it, an army on the march, but it is show that the continuous action, right? So the sun rise up. And the, uh, the sun rises up continuously like that. Okay, that's the morning events. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we made it to the So, number four, explain fully. Explain fully, right? Not only just a part of that. Explain fully what the bullocks and lizards are doing. According to the test, the bullocks are going to be turned to the bullocks. Yeah, the camera is going to Yes, sir. The, the bullocks were going through the water because it was so hot. Mm -hmm. The lizard was scared of them. Mm -hmm. And we got to end up for them is that lizards had hiked them when they saw yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 bullock with chop and. Oh, it's very You said that the bullets are going through the water? Yeah. Wait, wait, where is show that? Oh, uh, it said that it was. Not a negative will move his tail. Mm -hmm. That's it talking about fish, mm -hmm. not a bullock. I thought it was the bullock tail. Mm -hmm. A naked fish is not bullock tail. Mm -hmm. Why is the fish? A naked fish, fish is a fish. Mm -hmm. It's talking about uh, fish. Yeah. Uh, so bullock is on bullock. <laughs> and hi. So they just hi, told hi, that hi. they have oh. things sting under the soil. Mm -hmm. And when they walk, it was very hard. Hard and the lizard hide themselves because of the noise. Because it is hard. It is hard from the least best a mile off. Mm -hmm. It's a lizard. And also about the extreme heat. Yeah. How about other creatures? They all very nearly jump out of their skin. Yeah, they all need to move. The animals. And all the animals don't. Here the is a very case even today. Here I said that, you know, how did the search to describe the action of other living creatures? So, how many living creatures do you see in this program? Bulldogs, lizards, fishes, humans. No, do, do. no, they are children. Oh. Children are also children. <laughs> yeah, but, okay, so so you 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 see that, sorry, what what do you see? You see a a bullock. A bullock, right? Lizard. Lizard. Fishes. Fish, right? Yeah. And the next one? Oh. So how about the fish? What happened to the fish? Bitch. Hey, 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 listen to it. Yes, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. listening. I mean, even even the fish was hot. Yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah the fish is yeah. Hot. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what what fish is hot? Okay, so here you know you see that not a naked fish would willingly move his tail. It means that uh, the the it was really hot. So even the fish cannot move its tail. Yeah. Right. So next is not human, next is the insect. Oh, their children, are the children with the insect? No. No, here you can see that the swine no longer even, even the insects wear too leather, leather give to pie. Yeah. That's just talking about the insect. That is another creature. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So now number five. Explain in your own words why the children are <coughs> perspiring. Perspiring so heavily. Yeah. Uh, the children are perspiring so heavily because of a sudden mm. that they hard. Mm, okay. So what effect does the 
the rider produced by referring the salt made by the cream? Um, it was the white salt for like a straw. Um, he described it like that. Mm -hmm. But um, as a result, um, as a result, they were like very nearly jammed out of their skin, which means they were, they were sweating a lot. Mm, actually, not yet. Angry. So what's your point? Same. What's oh, same? Why, why same? What, what's same? What's same? I just want your idea. Oh, I we wrote this together. Yeah, I, I want your idea. This is our idea. This right. is not your idea. This is the writer's idea. I'm asking your idea, your own idea. So you just said it. No, it's, no. Not, it's not correct. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, Please mm -hmm. convince that. Bust that. Maybe yes. Why does he want it? Um, what effect does the writer produce by referring to the song made by the crane? It states that it's scary. Why is it the crane shot like a trump? Why is it the trump? trump? Which which from? Eh? You mean Trump? I have to ask you. Which Trump are you talking about? Trump bad. Trump bad. Yeah. Hey, there is a sentence that you are asking me. Which Trump? 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 Which so what if why why the writer said like that the crane a crane had because the sound of the crane was scary. Okay, why? Because it's your human nature voice. Because it's actually like it. actually the crane is not like a trumpet sound, but they made a trumpet sound. Why? The trumpet sound more hold the trumpet is for verb air wa, aura. Yeah, yeah. Loudly. Why they why they make a loud noise? Yeah. So I yeah. think it's like a human nature. Yeah, like lion. 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 And even you, so when you when you get powder, okay, when you when the electricity solve, and the end point is not ready, right? So oh, the time, yeah, yeah, okay, like that, right? Oh so because God. of the weather. Three, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, blue it up, wow. Oh, it's another six. Okay. Okay, now 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 we make. No. No. Go 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 go. We have all all the powder. Okay. So number five. Right, number okay. six. Number six. Yeah. Six. Uh, okay. Number six. Uh, what are the features that you think might lead to it be a famous place? Famous place is uh, uh, beyond the sea. Yeah, beyond the sea. A mile away on the reef. Okay, and the next one. Um, as mentioned in the direction to this passage, hurricane will shortly occur. So which one shall that? Oh, no, no birds trespass, uh, trespass on the hurricane. Okay, no sea breeze thought no of sea breeze no sea breeze steering yeah. and no birds trespass on the heavy air. This is the sign of yeah. hurricane. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Yes. yes. Goodbye, teacher. See, see you. 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 See